interpreter, music aficionado of the East LA scene, and also author, ladies and gentlemen, of his new book, Mexican American Boxing in Los Angeles. Put your hands together for Gene Aguilar.
Mexican American boxers in Los Angeles. So if you want to tell us a little bit about the book, Gene, and, 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 and tie that into to all the famous uh, and acknowledging the, the great uh, fighters, the Mexican American fighters that, that were so prominent in Los Angeles and that, and that made the city so special. Uh, my whole goal in writing this book, Mexican-American Boxing in Los Angeles, was to put all the great Mexican-American boxers in one place. There's never been a book uh, in, in boxing history that put all the great fighters, from the Mexican-American fighters, and I think it was long overdue. Um, during during uh, when, I, when, I, when I took this project on, I felt an immense pressure to do a great job because I didn't want to let any of the memories of the great fighters like Art Aragon, Enrique Bolaños, Mondo Ramos, Carlos Palomino, I didn't want to let their legacy down, so I really took it up an extra notch when I, when I wrote this book. Could you share with us a, a, a little bit about what, what it meant to the city of Los Angeles to also have uh, such a, uh, you know, a, the gravitation of, uh, of Mexican Americans fighting in the city. I mean, it's just a, uh, you know, almost a, a, like a breeding ground of great champions and fighters. You know, uh, one thing that Los Angeles is lacking today is uh, a great place to go see boxing, a real place like the Olympic Auditorium, where my friend Don Chargan, who had a reason for him, Don, Hall of Famer, matchmaker at the Olympic Auditorium for 20 years. 1964 to 1984, the great Don Chargan was there. And, you know, there was a place, I remember when I was growing up as a kid in the 70s, and I used to go to the Main Street Gym over there, in, uh, and it was in the Skid Row in, of downtown Los Angeles, right at the edge. And I would go there and see all the great fighters like Ruben, Alexis Arguello, Pepino Cuevas, I'd see all the great fighters come in. It just inspired me. And I, and I heard all these great stories, and I had them stored in my head, and it felt so great to finally put them down in writing, and, and match them with a great photo collection that I've, that I've acquired all these years. But my point is that there's no Olympic Auditorium anymore, and there's no more Main Street gym. It's the allure of boxing has kind of faded in Los Angeles, and it, it's a shame. Uh, yes, they do have the, the big fights at Staples, and, and now the forum is back again. Uh, uh, Juan Manuel Marcus fought there a couple weeks ago. But we are missing the central focal points of something like the Olympic and the mainstream show. And I, I just want to say something too. There's a, another great friend of mine over there. Um, it's the first time he's been to Canastota. Great Bantamweight contender. He's the first guy to beat Joe Jeff Chandler, Hall of Famer. And I just want to say again hello to Oscar the Boxer Muniz. Let's give him a warm Canastota welcome. He fought many times at the Olympic Auditorium. Great, great guy. Yeah, Gene, so uh, we want to just give you a little bit of insight on the uh, book. Uh, it is for sale, and it's in the uh, gift shop, so you'll want to. Uh, Grab a copy of it. I know some friends of mine already have gotten a copy and uh, want to add it to their collection because it's basically uh, a collectible as well, because it, uh, it, there's no other one that exists like it. So uh, we appreciate uh, uh, Gene uh, putting the effort and, uh, and all of his knowledge uh, into this. So uh, support would be greatly welcomed, and, and Gene will sign it for you as well. And uh, Ruben's going to be signing. Uh, we're we're going to come up. Yeah, over here afterwards. Oh. Books are available in the bookstore here, and maybe uh, we can get Oscar Benice to sign with us too. He'll sign the book. Oscar's in the book too. Yeah, great. Uh, and Gene, I'd like, uh, I know over here you do uh, interpreting uh, for Ruben, but I really get to ask you a question if you can share a, a 